Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrowfield's gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. for a birthday. <laughs> Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Maybe later, but ha remember, three gold coins, that's all they cost. Young tear away. Off to play with your friends. Trade goods. Honey, where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> with some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? Honestly, where's that good-for-nothing husband of mine? Oh, oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. 
quick! While he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. Are you just going to stand there like a lemon? That lot of good you were. No, my stock is down. If I find out. Look, there's a little swap. Right, got you, you little. I've heard reports that you've been doing destruction of a p dereliction of sentry duty, despite having been asked nicely. That sort of behaviour is not acceptable. If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fined by the town guards. You need to decide if behaving like that is worth it, my young friend. I'll leave it at that for now, but think about what I've said. If you were old up, why, the trouble you'd be in? <laughs> Today, a juvenile delinquent. Tomorrow, Bargate Prison. Mark my words. Might as well play as much as you can. Back to school tomorrow. I tried buying some fruit <laughs> off that travelling trader, but he's only got fattening things. He always seemed like such a nice boy. He never. Get your miscellaneous items here. You know, Vale, a beautiful place. We're busy. I'll leave her. I'm just waiting for the right moment. I just want to walk around out for an arm in arm with you. Ah, me here, my little pumpkin. Oh, he's... What? Uh, I, I was just... Um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Good lad. Here, have this gold piece. My advice to you, don't get tied down to one woman. 
Look after yourself. Forget everyone else. A demon in him. I'm going after him. Stock of a what? You again? I'm hearing of your mischief rather regularly. Shall we remind ourselves? Destruction of a person's vendables, dereliction of sentry duty, despite having been asked nicely, accessory to improper man and lady behaviour. Do you realise the trouble you'd be in if you weren't such a little un? Now go and keep yourself out of trouble. Please find Rosie, my little top. Look out, here comes trouble. Please find Rosie. Available. Where's that filthy? <laughs> With some woman, I run his house. Bring him if you find him. Let me know. You have? Right. Thank you, young sir, for ta. He'd steal your apples as soon as up the air with your chores. You stupid little idiot. Get him off me! Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. What do you want? I'm just dealing with this brat. He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. No, he won't give it to me, just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. I told him if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. <laughs> Get him off! He goes around the... But you look strong. What is it? You're... Why are you playing with baby toys and little girls? Have you cleaned my mum's cart for me yet? Ow! Hey! What are you doing? I'm sorry, I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Hmm. 
I'm a man of my word, so here's the gold for your good deeds. But if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? I've still got the quickly. Give me three gu Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister. forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! <laughs> had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. <laughs> 